Gonzalo, your first time involved in the Six Nations as a coach. What does it mean to you? How special occasion is it? Yeah, I, I was already in, in the French national team staff as, a, as an assistant coach uh, from uh, 2008, 9, 10, 11, and uh, even with a Grand Slam in 2010. But it's absolutely different role now. Being at the head uh, of the head coach for Six Nations is the first one. And I think I'm even the first Argentinian ever to be a head coach in the Six Nations, so I'm quite proud. The, this championship has a couple of years already, <laughs> a bit of history, so I'm, I'm super proud of, of having this opportunity. Why did you feel now is the right time and challenge for you going forward? Yeah, definitely. I, I, had a, I started quite early my career and uh, I did some nice, had some nice experience in European professional rugby. I've been part of the staff uh, already as an assistant coach for France and as assistant coach for Argentina. I also coached super rugby and uh, it was like the next step for me was it would be amazing to be uh, in a national team. That was the next step. Already after Jaguares, I had that opportunity in Stade Francais so I came back. So now for me it's a it's a great opportunity and I'm, I'm really excited about it. You talked about being involved in Six Nations before, but as you say, the first time as a head coach. But your experience with France, you know, in the Grand Slam, surely that will help you going into a couple of weeks' time against England. Definitely. Definitely was uh, what I, the three, four years with France, uh, teach me a bit the, um, the, how the national team works, that is different to even if I, w- I saw it as a player, it's nothing to do with the coaching role. And um, yes, uh, I think what happened with France is a big, a big help for me. And also uh, starting coaching a Latin team is also maybe easier, even if the, today we are all similar. Eh? What, all, what, we got, what we all do is similar, but culturally it's, it's easier. It's coming from Argentina after coaching in France or France and coaching Italy would be, a, the adaptation is quite faster. I know you like attacking rugby. Paolo Garbisi, a big talent. 10, 12, which way do you see him and is he the man to lead your team going forward? Listen, uh, we have uh, some, a, a lot of uh, interesting players. We have some positions where unfortunately we are not that covered uh, that uh, the team has um, maybe need to find new players for the future because some positions are uh, we don't have a lot of options. We also have a... Uh, 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 some players like Paolo that didn't play a lot in the clubs um, so we need to find a way of, of using their, their energy too, to, to, to attack these the six nations and for the concrete answer about Paolo I think uh, him and Tommaso Alan will be both mainly covering the 10 position but of course we want to take advantage that uh, Tommaso can play 10 and fullback and that Paolo can play 10 and 12 that gives us a lot of options and uh, we have a, a, a backline that, if we find a good balance, can, can give us some options, and especially a bench that can make us start the game with, a, with one looking backline and finish with another style. So that's part of the things we are thinking about. And elsewhere in the squad, five debutants. Ross Vincent, he's made strides at Exeter. How highly do you rate him? And he, is he a possibility? Yes, young, but could he get his chance? Yes, uh, as you may know, we are the youngest uh, team in the competition the most uncapped team in the competition there's a lot of things that doesn't look super uh, doesn't put us as favorites but uh, for us it was already a a young team but it's the first opportunity for me to meet some players to see them it's true that uh, Ross is one of those uh, young players that uh, look like with, they have a lot of potential. Maybe they are not ready today, today, today to go all all the way to the international level, but they definitely are quite close. And uh, so for me, it was absolutely opportunity to have a, an experienced group. That is funny because the experienced group of Italian team is like 24, 25 years old, and they are already with four years in 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 the international level. Uh, but also to bring in some of the young talents, uh, some of them because like Ross that we just want to see him and see if he's ready, he's ready, so let's go. And uh, some others, uh, unfortunately, it's also because of injuries of uh, experienced players that are not here, that well, we, it's an opportunity for the young players to be with us. It was not a, 
our full-on choice, but the injuries made us do it. Last couple, Italy have struggled in recent years. I know you're only starting a job, but do you feel you have the squad to compete at this level? Listen, I've been using that verb the last uh, couple of months, uh, compete, because uh, I like I like attacking rugby. I think Italy has this identity now. What I want to do is maybe work with the vision of the identity of team we want to be and also go back to the Italian roots where we're going to have this attacking rugby at the end of the, in the top floor of the house, but the foundations would be more about our passion, our character and, uh, and the basics of the game, like the set piece, like the defense, to really compete, because today uh, I, I want to have a good-looking rugby, but I want to compete. I want to play our best and make sure that if, we, if some games we don't win them, it's because the other team really played much better than us. Because sometimes I feel that this lack of consistency uh, is something that can uh, be tough to handle for it Italy and that sometimes will take some points or Italy takes some points that are too easy. So, as you said, uh, compete. I hope we can compete in every one of the games. And if we play our 100%, we're going to have to make sure that the other team also plays 100% to, to beat us. If they are not in the... In the hundred percent, maybe it won't be that easy. That's my that's my goal. Finally, we're sitting down in three months' time, and I say, what is a success for Italy in the first Six Nations with you in charge? What is that? Listen, um, I'm sure I will be uh, uh, proud of of, uh, of being there, but just of that my career. I had uh, I work a lot. I was uh, really taking all my opportunities and. I'm so it's so so big for me to be to be here and to be part of this. Even now, sharing the day with now they are friends like Gregor Towson or Warren Gatland or uh, Andy Farrell. Being around them, uh, Fabien, that is also a good friend, and uh, uh, being here in the same role is is quite strong. And uh, I grew up, uh, you know, February in Argentina is summer, like end of summer holidays. So this, the Saturday mornings for us, getting together, putting all the lights off, closing the window shutters to put the anthems as hard as long. That's how I grew up, like at 10, 12 years old, I was watching the anthems in uh, Morrifield or in uh, uh, Twickenham and uh, dreaming about it. Uh, so it's a nice story. Gonzalo, all the best and thank you. Thank you.